forward, right? Nice. And I, I learned this literally yesterday, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see for a bit. I, I never knew. Ooh. But, uh, oh, wow. What an aggressive start from Absa. Uh, Absa is usually that character I'd rather be very defensive mm. and very uh, spacing oriented. But um, he's going, find you going straight in there, really. Uh, Push your buttons, man. It's uh, it's it's something that's true across all fighting games, right? Where you can't ever play a hundred percent zoning because then that becomes predictable, right? You do need those bursts of aggressions, not necessarily super often, but that's how you prompt your opponent when they get close to you. They'll do a defensive option, and then you react to their defensive option instead. Makes sense. And by getting him into that mindset, getting him into the uh, hey, we actually have to play this game. It's not just going to be one-sided. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually go back and play a little more defensive, do all those things. Now they're thinking about more. And the, uh, the other side of it is, of course, in this matchup, uh, Absa doesn't really want Forest Burns to have the luxury to build up all the smoke <laughs> because she is very light and yes, she, uh, is. she will absolutely explode very early. Uh, so in a way, Forest Burn, uh can't actually dictate a lot of approaching just by, you know, eating his smoke in the corner if uh, Absa doesn't want to make things happen. It's a good point to look at. Now, I know something specifically about Fine Dude. Uh, he's very down to happy. He likes that button a lot, mm -hmm. uh, and it's good. I mean, he used it well. And I've never seen an app to quite use it as well as him, so... That's something to look out for. Uh, it's really good cloud flash, you know? Yeah, uh, both both in terms of the fully charged one. Like, oh, right that there, catching so the good. end of the parry. Uh, he also is really good at setting up just like the cloud on the stage and like, say, popping them up with the uh, F tilt 2, for example, into it. And comboing out of cloud and something else, too, on top of that. Wow, that was like, really nice. Got it as he hit the ground. It, <laughs> it, like, the, the timing of that was nice, and the fact that he was just following in the air under SBS to try to bait him out into something, and SBS opted to land on the platform, and that set him up for the up air. Ooh, we're gonna parry Cloud. Now, isn't Cloud one of those weird ones where uh, the farther you away you parry it from Absa, the more hit sunk she's in? Or Correct. Like that? That's always a strange one to me. It's, it's, I mean, it makes sense that way the opponent can always get the same degree of punish on it. Uh, I, I can definitely understand from a balanced perspective. It does make it kind of scary for the Absa. Like, they have, to, they have to be confident in their ability to mix up the timing. That's something that we're seeing uh, Pizza able to do in this neutral as well. Ooh, nice! I love seeing down air out there. That down air sweet spot is such a fun move. Well, I mean, I'll see all of their sweet spots are really fun moves. But it's so cool to watch, man. Oh, good patience by SBS. Just barely misses the down smash, but clearly has a sense for how Pizza wants to defend himself. And right there, right there we see, uh, not Pizza, uh, Thayan Dude try to set up his zone, and that just lets SBS build up his full cloud, and now and that's now, death honestly, percent probably. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> about, uh, I was going to say a bossy, wow, we just can't get this guy's name. Uh, Thayan Dude, <laughs> Thayan Dude's in a scary spot, and we can see him playing super defensive now. He's like, well, he already got his smoke, so yeah. we to lose now. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, like, what are you going to do now? Just use it? <laughs> so I guess I'll just try to keep this thing away from me and hope I don't die. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's so scary. I mean, if SPS calls out one of the clouds and gets the parry, which... Oh, no! oh F tilt into it! Oh, such good DI! Nice. Man, SPS, though, not letting up the edge guarding pressure at all. Oh. And the patience! So, so that is... clever, ran in, scared Fine Dude, Fine Dude parried on reaction. And SPS even had time to run back and then go back in with the downside. Cause the great thing about that, too, is the run back protects him in case uh, Thine Dude's defensive option is an F tilt, right? Exactly. Because then he runs out of the way so of it. If he does something defensive like a parry, then yeah. he's fine. He can go to punish it. If he does something offensive like a jab or an F tilt, he's out of the way of it. And he might even be able to punish it still. Yeah, he might be able to punish it. At the very least, he still has stage control. It's very, very smart play. super good. He covered so many options there. And that's that's one thing that like SPS already has a very strong handle on in the first game is he baited out so many parries in the very beginning. So uh, that's one thing I'm interested in seeing by Thine Dude is him mixing up those options when he is under that pressure. Wow, that back air. <laughs> Ooh, that Nair catching the quick attacks. This is where things get a little bit dicey and coming back. Nair able to cover a lot of quick attack angles. Ooh, I like the little Nair bounces, try to look, maybe get a tech chase going or something. Mm. But uh, SPS having none of that. Going uh, for an offensive option out of it and punishing it. What, what, do I, what would you want to see Fine Dude do from this point? Uh, it's, it's really tricky because right now, especially in the center of this game, SPS is riding a lot of momentum. He has got uh, such a strong read not only on oh how to get open <laughs> up Fine Dude, but then his advantage state on top of it is so suffocating as well. Like, we haven't even gunned Fine Dude to get to touch the ground very much. <laughs> the crazy thing is um, just, just his. He knows when Fine Dude wants to do something, only mm. wants to do nothing. Uh, he can just read it, and it's honestly terrifying. 
He's kind of got a sense of like the, the exact sort of tier of player I think that Thine Dude is, right? Like there are, there are certain habits that are kind of universal in each game. And he's like, okay, this is the sort of player who, okay, this is around the time he's going to want to cool things off and do nothing. So that I'm going to start pressing my advantage even harder because now he's scared to parry. And that's and such an interesting thing. Like it's so hard to discern that you're not half that level, you know, or mm -hmm. above that level. Even. Ooh, Mike. <laughs> I thought Whoa. he was going to go for like another down here. <laughs> Thine Dude trying to even it up immediately. I respect it. Oh, getting a drag down Nair, looking to cover a lot of options. Only gets the smoke, though. Ooh, speaking of smoke, teleporting into it to uh, avoid really any other conflict there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, SPS yeah, out of the way. Good use of smoke for this game, honestly. That small little blob there has just been so useful to him. Yeah, it's just, it provides him a, a safe refuge to go to. And the, the thing is, uh, Thindu can't get rid of it without like giving a, an opening to SVS. If he jumps up and nares it, for example, then SVS gets the follow with the back air. And it might just close out the stock. Yeah. It's, uh, SVS is really good. <laughs> SVS is good in this game. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think that's one of the takeaways I here. Think that's basically what we're trying to say. Uh, <laughs> so one thing about Thine Dude, I've noticed when he's gotten SPS off stage, he hasn't really kept him there. And it's not easy. It, it's, it's, it's not easy, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But uh, Forsman definitely struggles off stage, um, especially SPS, if he doesn't have smoke, right? Mm -hmm. So if he's off stage, patience is a, goes a long way. Yeah. And not just getting the first hit you can, but maybe going for a hit that gets him back off stage is always a better option. It's, it's that, and I think the other thing is you need to make sure that you place your hitboxes that you can catch both himself and his copy, because yes. you don't really know which one he's going to be, especially when they both vanish at the same time. Like, well, how are you going to know? Stage, you're just like, well, I mean, <laughs> they're both in the blast zone, so one of them is a clone. And I, I think that's something theoretically Absa should be able to do, just because the cloud gives you so much more option coverage. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's the trick, though, of uh, like the devil's in the detail, of course. Ooh, Ooh. It's so good. This <laughs> stage is kind of a rough pick for um, for Fine Dude. This is a stage that uh, I know Forge Rinse love because mm -hmm. it can uh, recover under the stage and go through it, like we were saying earlier. Yeah. And uh, it just gives him a ton of options, not to mention that up airs kill off the top really easily. Back air, okay. we saw already Back kill here, very, very if early. If correctly, kills you really still. I, it kills off the top yeah. one. I, I want to guess that the reason uh, Thine Dude wants to go to this stage has to do with the fact of the, of the platforms and that he can traverse the platforms a lot faster than pretty much any other character. And I think he's looking for that in Refuge when he's in that disadvantage state. Um, but we'll see how well that actually pans out. I like how he's crouching. That's so smart. He was just waiting there crouched. Mm -hmm. So that if you try to up you through him, he'll crouch cancel and he'll punish it. Yeah, and, and additionally, it just shrinks his hurtbox as well, so he doesn't have to worry about any floating bombs. So he's just a little bit big, a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And he had smoke, so he was just waiting. Just like he's gonna have to come back, and when he does, well, the bus is coming. Oh, there we go. Oh, the up smash just barely slow enough. A little late, shit's up. SPS just keeping the pressure going, sends the dummy in. Oh, falling up there. That was, that was pretty cute. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and it managed to actually beat out the other ever right before it came out, and SPS <laughs> looked really dominant that set. Like.